hello everyone welcome to another video this time something different so i did have a request that i create some script for the rail for some slab and in order to create that solid profile you would need essentially to follow 3d curve but because i don't know how to create 3d curve in, in revit i think that is impossible um, i know how to create that curve uh, in the dyno but it will be uh, complex for the user to control the points in Dynamo. So I did create something like this. So uh, you can create a path as a 2D spline or 2D uh, detail element. And on that path, you will create sections. And then in sections, you will find your profile. For example, I did took from the internet some tunnel profile. And as you can see over here, I will in following sections start to increase the height of that profile. So basically we have 2D curve, but we will also play with the profile. And in that example for the client, we did also uh, change the angle for the profile. So we did rotate the profile in the different sections because that was a request. Um, and you can also do that over here. Uh, it is not like a request that the profile must stay straight in all sections and then like uh, what you need to do you don't need to have section like this or here on the path where you don't have a change uh, where you don't have uh, let's say horizontal change you don't need to have extra sections but if you have uh, that vertical change then you will need to create a section and basically uh, over here, for example, we will not have a section, but we will have interpolation because we did the define profile over here, we did define profile over here, and the dyno will need to uh, create some approximation. So we will see if that is accurate. And okay, now we need to pick those profiles from sections. So I will open one by one. I will try to open all profiles. And we did hit the limit, uh, let's say, uh, when we did use more than 30 profiles. So if you need to use more than 30 profiles, maybe you should consider to create uh, two or more solids. So from, from one run, I think 30 sections are the limit. But depends also on the, on the profile geometry. If the geometry is complex, maybe even smaller number of sections will be a limit if uh, profile is simple maybe and maybe dyno will also let you to uh, take more than uh, 30 sections so okay now we have a script uh, over here i did uh, basically set that i want to select uh, 12 profiles and over here you can type what will you what you want to be uh, family name basically also in the script you can change the category if needed so we need to select profile number one and it's very very uh, important to go uh, actually one by one sections as defined in your path uh, so we will select elements okay we will select elements in the section one we can select elevations reference planes uh, the script will filter out those elements so it will only took uh, thin lines. So this is section one, uh, section two, okay, section three. And I will speed up this for you. You don't need to waste your time on this. Okay, I did select all 12 profiles, I will click run. I will put the text somewhere over here to tell you for this uh, example how many minutes it takes to, to create a family. So now Let's check our family. For section 12, uh, it is logical that we 
cannot see the profile because this is the end section and the section is looking from this point uh, forward and the uh, solid is millimeter behind this section but we will check that so let's let's switch to better preview and let's go one by one so section number one i think that the solid is perfect section number two again i will speed this a little bit you don't need to waste your time checking each profile Okay, and now in order to explain uh, section 12, let's go to floor plan. So we have our uh, tunnel and uh, you can see over here, this is section 12. So, and the section 12, it's looking from this point forward. So that is why it cannot see that cross section, but I will move this for because we are in meters so for just a small amount in order for us to see if that profile it's okay yes it is okay and now let's also check the 3d view uh, and don't have high expectation for mechanical engineer to create good topography but i wanted to show just as an example so this is this is our tunnel and I did create one more section, so looking from the floor plan, I did create this section over here in order to check uh, that elevation. So let's go to section 13. Uh, and we will call elevation, nothing else. So we did start from minus uh, uh, 0 0.5 or half a meter and then uh, let's just switch to uh, okay. So uh, over here it's still half a meter. Still okay, and it start rising minus zero point three, minus zero point one, zero, and it will be zero for some time. Then over here, minus 0 0.1, probably because of interpolation, 0, uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.5, okay, it will be on that value for some time and it must rise again. Okay, and it will go to one. Uh, so I don't know how else you would create such thing in Revit. So let me know what do you think. Thank you for watching. Bye.